show me what's going on because everywhere I look, there are parts all over the place. Parts, bolts, bags, things in, wrapped up. Yeah, bike, really bike looks uh, scary that it's all in pieces, but yes, I, knew. I know. Hey, good morning. I'm on, I'm on my way out. Going to visit John. I've seen uh, some of his videos of uh, Mad Max, the bike all ripped apart and I gotta see it firsthand because it looks terrifying. So I'm gonna go see, get a little explanation from him, what he's doing to the bike. I kind of saw in his videos, but I get a close up look of all the things that he's, he's taken apart. And uh, yeah, I want to ask him also a question about the cam, see what he thinks. So stick around and uh, let's see Mad Max in pieces. So I made it to John's garage over here. He's gonna show me what's going on because everywhere I look, there are parts all over the place. Parts, bolts, bags, things in, wrapped up, hanging, dangling from the, from the bike. Look at that. So he's gonna be here in a second and make some sense of what's going on. Is there he is? So John, do me a favor. Tell me what's going on over here because everything, everywhere mm -hmm. I look, there's parts all over the place. So and... what happened was <clears throat> the front fork seals were leaking. Yeah. And a lot of people were asking me, it's a new bike, but I had the plus two uh, suspension done on the front. Mm -hmm. I got the 14 inch uh, Legend Revo arcs in the back. No issues there, but the seals were leaking right here. The seals inside the fork were leaking, so we don't know why uh, they were leaking. We will know in about a week. These are the actual forks, right? Yeah, those are those are the forks. Those are the ones. Yeah. So we're that's why I because I'm obviously going to Daytona, so I need them fixed. And then the fluid was actually dripping on the brake calipers and on the brake pads. Mm -hmm. So I. Uh, went to go stop one uh, one day on I uh, was doing a ride video and it was really hard to stop and I that's when I noticed the problem and then obviously it was spraying like up onto the bike uh, what else so that's why I had the bike apart and okay. since I took how to take off the forks boom I said I gotta powder coat the wheels <laughs> oh, good idea so we're gonna powder coat the wheels in the super chrome we're going to powder coat uh, the legs, which are already out for powder coating. Nick had another set. And I'm powder coating the back pulley mm -hmm. uh, gloss black. Well, by the way, was it complicated to take everything apart? No, no. I got everything no. all neat here. Super easy. Did it all myself on the lift. I might I'm... need your help putting the back tire and stuff back on. Uh, might be at work that day. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. So we might need a hand uh, putting like the wheels back on and uh, sliding the uh, axles back through. But other than that, it's no, it's not, it's not hard at all. It looks complicated, tell you the truth. And probably all it is is bolts. It's, it's, and uh... it's really not. Anybody that has a a little that that's a little bit mechanically uh, inclined could do it. And then uh, we did this on Silverback. I just painted the caliper covers gloss black. I used a high heat paint gloss black oh yeah i did once like that. yeah so. i did them on silverback it comes out really nice at the time i copied you and i did it uh blackbird i did it in red yeah a lot of people did it because it looks better than the kind of stainless look yeah and it comes out really nice you just got to make sure they're clean and scuffed up you know the other day i did a, I did a video like i did a, a, i remember if it was instagram or a short or whatever and i was making fun joking that i'm doing something for sale and uh i was offering to, to to sell your cam uh the 475 and then i got a i thought about it when i'm gonna do my cam i was uh getting a lot of people were talking about uh the 30 the racing 3030 uh cam as well, well i told you to do it yeah. I, I know but yeah. what do you what do you what do you say what's like what the 475 is great i've had it on many bikes a lot of yeah. people have it it's in my opinion it's one of the best sounding cams yeah and you definitely get 
in the 107, 114, and 117, seems like you get the what I've seen the most power and torque numbers, but I did see the 3030 in action. Yeah. And I've never used it, so that's why I'm telling. Oh, Mr. so I'm, I'm, I'm the guinea it. pig, right? I'm the guinea pig. You're not there. a guinea pig. Moonshine Harley Davidson used them a lot, right? Uses it a lot. Um, I think on, you know, majority of their builds, 485 lift compared to the 475. So it's a bolt on. I don't need. Sounds, I don't need to do no. anything else besides that exhaust no. tune, which yeah, right, which you'll right. do. So yeah, but uh, the chop is nice. That's what I. That's what I hear. Really nice, and it seems like it's putting out a little bit of more power and torque. So. So that's what I'm I pretty think, much... I think your bike will be sick with That's that, what I yeah. need to figure out, like, to decide. Am I going to go with the 475 or the 3030? If any one of you have uh, the 3030 or 475, let me know down by the comments what you guys think. Not a lot of people put the 3030. That's the thing. Everybody puts a 475. Maybe the 3030 will be a little bit more unique and you yeah, assigned to the yeah, bike. Yeah, yeah I'm, and see, I'm curious to see how much power because uh, Big Guy put the 475. Yeah. Um, on the 117. On his, a CVO. Right. On his 117. Yeah. And he got really good power numbers. Like one, what do you get? 122 horsepower and I think 132 foot pounds of torque, something like that. He got really good power numbers. But let's see what you get with the 3030. Not only that, uh, I'm a much lighter bike. Oh, it's much it's lighter gonna, bike. Yeah, and I'm it's going to rip. Also lighter. Of course. So, yeah, hopefully your it's going to be. Your bike is, what, 200 pounds lighter? Yeah. <clears throat> You're about 200 pounds lighter than big guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, should be getting. Uh, by the way, I'm going to have, in the probably in a month, a month and a half, I'm going to do the work by Nadal's. Going to do our own wrenching. And uh, stay tuned for that because we're going to have. Uh, I like to do my videos descriptive. What show you. you're gonna go with the, I'm gonna go probably the D, &D? D the D and D fat nice. fat cat. I love that raspy that raspy sound. Just love it. So that's that's mm. what we're probably gonna do. And stay tuned for that because it's gonna be a nice uh, video showing you how to do it, uh, fooling around a little bit. And how does, uh, how does the clutch feel? I pull it. Oh, you, you need a real man. <laughs> you need a real man to do that. <laughs> How about the six? You put the six springs or the three springs? No, you, you have to put six springs. No, the so time it's you, could, you, could, you it's could, a, could opt it's out. It's a six spring clutch. You can't opt out. It's a six spring clutch. I got you. You can put the heavy duty springs in. Oh, that's what that's what it was. Which I have. You that's can, what it was. These are the heavy duty. This is good for okay. 200 horsepower. That's what it was. Because you never know when you're going to need it. <laughs> 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 but um i got the blue springs in there yeah. which are good up to i think 160 horsepower got you but you got the uh arlen s mid controls fantoro fabrics crash bar bike, bike looks really good and zero zero 3d most of all cannons. it sounds got, amazing got the crap got the kraus t-bar setup odi bar eight inch pullback riser 11 inch clockwork sport flare windshield this Looks windshield really is great compared to the nine inch yeah <clears throat> it's fantastic really like it bike, really bike it. uh looks uh scary that it's all pulled uh in pieces let's put it that way well, she's, but he's yeah. brand new i know i know but, new and it's but all dude I, I saw your video with uh taking apart the bearings taking the bearings out it was so dirty over there full of uh Full of all the uh, salt from the snow. Hey, you gotta ride all year long, yeah, baby. Dude, you gotta ride that. all year long. <laughs> There's no putting a bike away. <laughs> so that's look it, guys. At look yeah. at today; it's even nice out. It's yesterday it was yeah. 55 degrees. I was, I was riding the last two days. Uh, did a nice walk around. People love that video. Thank you, guys. You really like that video with all the upgrades. Um, oh, so this is a plus two. Jeep, this is a plus two diamond lane fork tube, so it's two inches tall in the front. Oh, I GP you. cartridges in the back. Yeah. Fully adjustable, and then this, these are Legend Revo Arc 14 inch. So it ra the whole bike, the whole is, bike raised. is two inches higher. I got you. Yeah, and obviously with the mid. Our mid controls are the r r a little bit higher. Uh, yeah, it's not? higher, and you don't have the brackets coming down low, so you so get you really lean. good. Yeah, really good ground clearance. Okay. I love how the bike sits. So when we do our twisties at 110, nah. we're, uh, we, don't, we have no problems, right? <laughs> so that's it, guys. Uh, thank you. Again, thank you for watching. John, bike looks 
scary. Getting, that a, lithium, <laughs> getting a lithium battery today. Oh, Can't that's wait. Cool. Yeah. We're going to weigh that. I wonder how how heavy is this? The well, Probably by the time they see this video, they already know because your well, video is going to come out. I think it's, it's close to 30 pounds. 30 actually. pounds. And wow. I think the lithium battery, believe it or not, is like three pounds only. That's nothing. It's crazy. So, so we'll be able to shave some more weight off, and uh, that's it. Going to Daytona, and rip, you'll be able to rip. Maybe stay close, uh, close behind me. We're gonna, after we're I have gonna my try year. to hit seven hundred ninety-nine pounds. That's, okay, that's nice. What were you at? Eight thirty. Eight thirty-eight. Eight thirty-eight. But then again, a lot of people did say the scale that I brought it to; those big scales do increments of twenty. Mm. So I literally possibly could have been on so. the eight twenty side. So maybe let's do it. Let's do know. it like we I did have last to. Time. I'll do like a more. I'll have to find a more accurate. No, I'll find a more someone that has an accurate scale. Oh, okay. Even if even if I gotta go to uh, one of the drag strips around here and get a weight. Yeah. Okay. That's it, guys. Uh, thank you again for watching. Check out Cycle Fanatics. You know him probably. I think he's got four times. No, he's got ten. Five. Uh, eight times my subscribers, but I'm growing and I'm closing that gap very, very fast. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.